Hello guys, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. This video is part of Salesforce for Beginners series. In this video, we are going to discuss about types of organizations in Salesforce, creating Salesforce Developer Edition account, Salesforce career path and certifications associated to it. Types of organizations in Salesforce. So we have a production organization so production organization is one where client organization works in real time. It will contain all the original data and actual code which is deployed in it. Consider a website, for example, an Amazon where you log in and do your purchase, right? So that's nothing but a production organization for Amazon where the end user will operate in the real world. If you want to log into production org in Salesforce, you have to use this login.salesforce.com URL. Also, all the user names must be unique across the production organization. Next is Sandbox organization. So you can create multiple copies of your production organization for development, configuration, testing or training without affecting the production organization configuration and data. Users can log into Sandbox organization using test.salesforce.com. Then we have a developer organization. A developer organization is a free and non-expiring copy of enterprise edition environment. So you can start developing, testing and deploying your application instantly here. You need to use this developer.foursquare.com uh, link to create your developer edition account. So we are going to do this in some time. Then we have a partner developer edition organization. Partner Developer Organization is a free organization with more storage features and licenses and these are available for companies who are enrolled in the partner program. Next we'll discuss about types of sandboxes in Salesforce. So we have a developer sandbox. A developer sandbox is intended for development and testing in an isolated environment. A developer sandbox includes copy of your production org's configuration, that is a metadata of your org. So it does not include the actual data from the production org. Next is developer pro sandbox. So a developer pro sandbox is similar to developer sandbox, but it can host larger data sets than developer sandbox. A developer pro sandbox also includes uh, the copy of your production org's configuration. Then we have a partial copy sandbox. A partial copy sandbox is intended to be used for testing environment. So uh, it includes production orgs configuration and also a sample of your production orgs data as defined by the templates which we have. Then we have a full copy sandbox, uh, sorry, a full sandbox. So a full sandbox is intended to be used as a testing environment. Only full sandboxes performs or supports performance testing, load testing, staging. Full sandboxes are replica of your production org, including all the data such as objects, records, files, attachments, and metadata. So generally, how a development cycle works in industry is like first, you have to develop your task in a developer sandbox, then perform a unique testing on it, then we need to deploy that to a partial sandbox. So uh, in partial sandbox, there will be a testing performed by the testers. And then once everything is fine, we move it to a full sandbox where a regression testing takes place for your development and for your application. And uh, once everything is passed, then uh, you have to deploy your code to the production environment. Now we will create a free developer edition Salesforce account so that you get to know better about Salesforce. This account will be used by us throughout this video series for development and demo purpose. So let's go to this developer.force.com. Once you are here, just click on this sign up button. And we need to fill this form and sign up so that we can create our developer edition org. So let's see. So 
So we'll select as developer. Let's say so I'm from India, so I'll select India. We need to select a username. And click on this. Sign up. Oh, so uh, this username has to be in email address format. Okay, now we'll click on sign up. Let's check if I, we have received any email. Okay. So we'll click on verify account. Okay, so now we have to set up our password. So once we have set up our password, we have been logged into our Salesforce account. So this pop-up tells us to try a lightning experience. So we will come back to this later. So this is your free developer edition org. And uh, whatever you have to learn in Salesforce, so uh, you can try it out here. Be it coding, be it administrator part, anything. You can start it in this account, okay? Uh, so let's go back to our presentation. Uh, just uh, keep in mind this username and password. We will be requiring th that in uh, later videos. Okay. So these are the Salesforce career path and certifications. Okay. So uh, you can be a Salesforce administrator, you can be a Salesforce developer, and once you have enough experience, you can go on to become a Salesforce architect. And uh, also you can choose to be a Salesforce consultant so that you can work in specific domain in Salesforce, be it a marketing cloud or a, uh, sales cloud, service cloud, community cloud, etc. Okay. And these certifications uh, you can do to enhance your knowledge in Salesforce. So uh, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you understand well and do let me know in comments if you have any doubts regarding to it. Okay. And uh, also do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.